Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have a great video for you today. This is going to be about how to care for your Foxy Lots clipping extensions. I'm gonna start right from the beginning when you receive them in the post and go all the way to the end to see how long you can make these extensions last. So if you want to see how to care for your clipping extensions, then carry on watching. So you've just placed your order at foxylocks.com and you are waiting for your extensions to arrive. When they do arrive, they look like this. So they come in a nice clear package so you can see the color really well. So if you're not too sure about your hair color, then the first time you see them, you'll, you'll know straight away really. But if you don't know straight away, then there is this little piece here, which is the tester piece, which you can take out of the pack. Now just make sure that you do not break this seal. If you get too excited and go into the pack straight away, then these will be non-returnable due to hygiene reasons. So you can open this little pack here and you can bring it out and test it against your hair. Okay, so we've opened our tester part now and as you can see, this is not a match for my hair color, but do not worry because Foxylox have a great return policy. So you can wrap this back up, put it back in this tester part and then send the hair back within 14 days of receiving it and you can get an exchange for a different color that would suit your hair better or you can get a refund, but don't do that. Just get nice hair, keep the hair. So we do offer a color match service and what you need to do is send a photo of yourself with your hair, obviously with your hair. <laughs> what you need to do is send a photo of your hair in natural light and then we can suggest the right color for you. Alternatively, you could take a little snippet of your hair and send it to us and we will match your hair to the extensions. But as I said, we have a great exchange policy, so don't worry if you don't get the right color straight away. Sometimes it takes a few times and we will send you your first exchange back for free. One of the questions we get asked a lot is how long do the extensions last? Well, this is dependent entirely on how you look after them. These will last you up to six to 12 months if you look after them properly. And all you need to do is a few simple things to make sure that they last long and they keep fresh and are as soft as the day you bought them. One of the most important parts of caring for your hair extensions is the way you store them. Now, the worst thing you could do is throw them on the floor after a night out and just let them sit there for days. You do not want to do this because they will tangle. It's just like your hair. If you leave it, don't brush it, then they will tangle. So the best solution for this is this amazing hanger. So what you can do is after your night out or your day, then you can put these on here and they won't tangle, you can brush them from here, you can even style them on this hanger, which is great. Um, and then you will avoid tangling them and keep them nice and fresh. We also offer this hanging case, which is a really great way to store your hair extensions and keep them nice and safe. Just pop them in there and zip it up, and there you have it. Your hair extensions are nice and safe, kept really clean and tidy and stored away for the next use. The hair that we use at Foxy Locks is 100% human Remy hair. This is the finest quality that you will find on the market and that is why it will last for a very long time. You can use all heat tools on our hair extensions but we do recommend that you use a heat protecting spray beforehand and that you use a lower temperature on the settings. We would recommend washing your hair every three weeks. Now you really don't need to do it any more than this, but if you do wear them every single day and every single night and you put lots of product in them, then you may wish to wash them a little bit more often. So when you are ready to wash the hair, the best way to do this is in the sink. And I would suggest doing one weft at a time. If you put them all in together, then you can get a bit messy and you will get some tangles. So do it one at a time, nice and slowly, and you will get better results. So once you've got the hair wet, what you need to do is add the product to the hair and then slowly move the hair down like this with the product and it will start to build a foam like it would in your hair. 
The difference with your hair is that you can rub it really hard and you can really get into the root. This one you need to be quite gentle with because if you do push the cuticles backwards then you are going to get a bit of frizz and maybe slightly tangling. So make sure you always smooth it down the length of the hair and when you have done that and you are happy that you've shampooed it enough you just need to rinse it out and this again goes down with the hair so make sure the water runs right down the cuticle. Once you've shampooed the hair, I would lay them all out on a towel and then I would put a towel on top and just press the hair in between. This will get all the moisture out and make sure that when you're conditioning, it will really go into the hair. Once you've taken out the excess moisture of the hair extensions, now you need to put the conditioner in. So again, you're going to do this the same way as you put the shampoo in and you're just going to run it smoothly down the length of your hair, making sure you do not rub it up and down because then that will cause tangles and frizzy. So once all the conditioner is nice and through the hair, what you can do is leave it for a couple of minutes just to make sure it really, really works into the hair extensions. And then what you need to do is comb it through. Now, this is a great brush that you can get from foxylots.com. It's really good because it's a detangling comb which you can use on wet and dry hair. So when the conditioner's in, you can really nicely run it through to make sure all those tangles are out before you rinse it off. And then once you're happy with that, then you do just rinse it off the same way as you do with the shampoo. Run it with the water so the water runs right down the length of the hair and the cuticle and not causing any tangles. Once you've done this, squeeze out the excess water and then place on a towel and leave to dry. In terms of which shampoo to use, I would go for one with maybe a Moroccan oil or some kind of oil base which would make your hair really nice and soft, just as you would with your own hair. It doesn't really matter which one you use, as long as you put it in correctly and you rinse it nicely. I would recommend using a nice deep treatment on your hair extensions every once in a while. You can use like a nice coconut treatment or an argan oil which is really really good for the hair. And you can leave this on as long as you want to and then rinse it off and you'll see that your hair is really smelling nice, really fresh, really soft to touch and just like when you first bought them. We have now just launched our new Nourishing Argan Oil which is an amazing new product that you can spray onto your hair extensions or onto your own hair. You can leave this in overnight for a really nourishing treatment or just spray for a refresher. You can dye these hair extensions as they are natural human hair, however we strongly advise that you go seek a medical... Medical advice? You need to get medical advice if you want to dye these hair extensions. We strongly advise that you go see a stylist for this and get professional advice and use professional products. We do not recommend using bleach or lightening the hair from the darker colours. This usually doesn't turn out the way you want it to and it will damage the hair if not done properly. We would say that if you are going to dye the hair darker from a platinum or Hollywood blonde then you will get pretty good results. But again, make sure you go see a stylist for this and do not try this at home. I hope I have answered all your questions and queries about these clipping extensions and if you are thinking of buying them, I hope now you are going to buy them. If you are waiting on them, then get excited because they are going to come through that door soon and you're going to get to do so many things with them. If I haven't answered your questions, then please comment below and I will get back to you and answer all your questions and make sure you are well in the know of how to look after these extensions because they are amazing, I love them so much and you will love them when you buy them. So. Please like, please comment, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.